Hi, good evening. Hi, Jose, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Fine. A little bit tired. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that it's only Wednesday, but we're all tired already. <laughs> yes, I have a, a heavy week. Yeah. And, and I think it makes it worse, the fact that it's so hot. <laughs> it's yeah. Not it's not raining, it's hotter than in summer. I don't know what's going on with this weather. It's yeah. Just crazy. Do you work remotely, like from your home, or do you have to go to an to a workplace? Actually, I am in my home. Oh, okay. Um, let me just, we're just gonna give a few minutes for your other classmates to connect, okay? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, Carlos. Hi, Eduardo. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing, doing great. And you, Coach? I'm doing great also. <laughs> Hi, Emerson. <laughs> nice meeting everyone. We're going to introduce ourselves in a few minutes, so don't, don't worry. <laughs> We're just waiting for everyone to jump into the class to start introducing ourselves. Okay? So we're just going to give them... Three more minutes. I believe at eight or five we can begin, right? So we're just gonna be here for a few minutes in silence and then we begin at eight or five. <laughs> okay. Just giving time for everyone to come in. In the meantime, while we wait for everyone to connect, I want to know, does any of you know a lot about Excel? Is any of you fluent in Excel? <laughs> By any chance? Yes, no. Uh, never mind. I found what I was looking for already in Excel. Okay, we have six participants. It's 804, seven participants. We're going to give one more minute and then we can begin. Right? All right, it's 8.05 officially, so we can begin. <laughs> so FYI, the time we start the class is at 8 p.m., 8 o'clock. So don't think it, we're always going to begin at 8.05 today because it's the first day. So I'm going to share my screen with you just to show you some info, right? Um, Just a moment. And then we can go one by one, introducing ourselves, right? I'm pretty sure you guys are coming from previous modules. So most, some of you are might already know each other, right? So just give me a second.
So let me know when you're able to see my screen, please. Yes. All right, thank you. So my name is Vis, uh, Vicky Arevalo, right? I know, I know, it's not Vicky. You'd never heard Vicky, I know. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, that's, that's the way it is. My parents, blame it on my parents, okay? Um, I'm an English teacher, but that's not the only thing I do, right? I, it's not the only thing I dedicate myself to. I work at a logistics company from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then in the afternoon, I teach English. But this is more like a like a passion for me. So <laughs> I just keep doing it, right? So when it comes to experience, I've been, I've been speaking English since I was very little. So you're in good hands. And of course, I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. That's the whole point. <laughs> but um, my goal is to help you guys, right? To guide you through. I'm going to give you as much drama tips and everything that the tools, right? That you need to progress your intermediate level four. So that's that's almost there hitting the, the advanced door, right? So I'm going to give you the tools to make it to the advanced part. But then the more you practice, one, it's going to be easier for you. Two, you're going to be more fluent three, you're going to sound more natural, right? There are two types of people that speak English, right? The ones that speak English and get hired for very good jobs and the ones that speak English but don't get hired for very good jobs, even if they speak English. Part of the reason sometimes is they don't sound naturals, right? Or they don't sound closer to natives. And you can sound as closer as you want, right? It's just a matter of practice. So... At this level, intermediate fourth, one of the best parts is that you get more chance to develop those skills that you require, right? To become not only an English speaker, but a more natural English speaker, right? That it becomes like your second language, right? So that's the goal here. But of course, that's up to you, right? The more you practice, the more benefit you get, right? You practice less, you get less benefit. That's just the, the way it is, right? Um, whenever you have doubts, you can just raise your hand with the reactions button. Also, when I'm gonna when whenever I need like people to help me read um paragraphs or things like that, I always ask for volunteers. I usually don't like to like to force people to read, right? Like point finger. So I usually ask for people to volunteer. So let me know if you want to participate just with no memes or just raise your hand again in the reactions uh uh here gestures so that we can see you and you can participate right um then assistance um no attendance you're gonna be required to have minimum 80 percent attendance less than that requires for you to not be able to continue right so it means you will not be able to continue to advance so make sure you don't get less than 80 percent attendance during the five weeks that we're going to be working together okay um hobbies well my hobbies are very very specific i love sleeping i feel like when you become an adult sleeping is a privilege so, so sleeping is my hobby whenever possible and then spending money. <laughs> spending money is my second passion in life. Like if, if I'm awake, I'm going to be spending money with this. You'll see me spending. And then if I'm sleeping, I'm finally getting the rest I need. So yeah, those are my two hobbies. I would like to say something like playing music, painting uh, or, or reading books. But those are secondary things. Those are not relevant. <laughs> All right, no, just joking. All right, so we're gonna begin. Raise your hand and we're gonna listen about you, okay? Uh, introduce yourself, obviously say your name and any information that you wanna share with us. Um, my goal is for you to, to feel that you're in a safe space, in a secure space. So don't feel like you have to, my name is this and I work this and no, right? If you, if you see I'm talking to you, like I'm talking with my friend on the cell phone, right? So don't feel rushed. Don't feel that you have to speak fast. Take your time, relax, and speak as friendly as you can, right? 
And just share the information that you want to share. First of all, your name, how you like to be called, if you have any hobbies, and probably your goals, right? What are your goals towards either for this year or regarding the language, right? Whatever you want to share with us. So raise your hand if you want to go first and the ones that want to participate, right? Well, everybody should participate. This is the first day and we want to know each other. <laughs> so who wants to go next? Let's see. I see your face that you want to go next, people, but you are not raising your hands. <laughs> Let's begin with Jorge Antonio, please. Uh, well, good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Jorge Antonio Sanchez. I'm a, a head of production manager and a factory i have uh, seven years in this company and i don't know i am married i have four boys and uh, i like uh, in my free time uh running and play basketball and, and watch videos in the in the tv um well my goals for and this model is um, development my my learning English and speak and try to to improve uh, uh, my my pronunciation mm -hmm. uh, and and well I, I I don't know and I I would like to uh, maintain a, a conversation with other people in English. Yeah, very nice, Jorge. That was a really good goal. <laughs> nice meeting you. All right. You. Let's see who goes next. Or you can choose anyone that just be on the screen, Jorge. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, who's next? Come on, guys, don't be shy. <laughs> we're, let's see, we're going to begin calling names but I don't know maybe we're gonna begin with do we have Juan Carlos Herrera are you there Juan Carlos do you want to introduce yourself yes I'm here okay. uh, can you hear me yes okay um, I don't know I have some problem with my connection Okay, okay uh, nice to meet you. Um, my name is Juan Carlos Herrera. Um, I'm uh, 48 years old <laughs> and I'm a support manager, support manager chief. And my hobbies are um, reading books and learn a uh, new technologies this is my hobby okay. mm -hmm. my goal uh, is to improve my my english because um, i have uh, i don't know five years <laughs> uh, that i don't practice english okay so to practice more right yes uh, um i hope uh, i I can I I can uh, learn uh, learn and and practice my English and improve my pronunciation and uh, my fluency, etc. All right, very good, very good job, Juan Carlos. Nice meeting you. Maybe you will want to hear the presentation for Jose. Jose, I see you got another guest in there. Jose Romero, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay, here I go. Um, my name is Jose Carlos. I am 29 years old. Actually, I am the head of the tax section from the town hall for my city. I have been working there the five years ago. And my goal for that year is to practice my English and get a little bit of new vocabulary and my hobby is spend time with my family 
and I, I like to go out with my family. That's nice, it. Nice, Jose. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Okay. He's an ex student. Nice job. Thanks, Jose. Nice meeting you. Let's hear um Eduardo Magaña, please. Let's introduce yourself. Okay, to me it's a really great pleasure to stay here because I think it's a really great opportunity. I'm going to introduce myself. I Eduardo Magaña and my nickname is Eduardo. I prefer to use my nickname all the time. And I consider myself a person that I really want to achieve something. I consider myself capable to achieve it. And I would like to sound more naughty or try to learn more vocabulary. And just that is the reason I am here. I really appreciate it for the all the advice that you can give me. In, nice. All right. In the course. Nice. Eduardo, you said you wanted to be called by your nickname. What is it? The uh, Edward. Oh, all right. Nice. Thank you. Nice meeting you as well. Um, let's see who goes next. Um Let's see, Cesar Lemos, have you introduced yourself already? Hi, good night, everybody. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Cesar Lemos. I'm 27 years old. Um, um, I don't know, teacher, my goal maybe is to practice uh, the English language because uh, maybe uh, we can understand that uh, we have to uh, improve uh, practicing uh, this second language. And with my hobbies, um, I love to play basketball with my friends and watch uh, different movies with my family. And All right. Just... Nice. Very good. Cesar, did you say you are... How old did you say you are? Huh? How, how, old, how old did you say you are? Uh, 27 years old. Oh, I swear I heard seven. You know, like, he's not seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I swear I heard that. <laughs> I'm old, sorry. All right, nice meeting you, Cesar. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay, let's see. Eduardo already introduced himself. Uh, Jonathan Gonzalez. Hello, good evening. Hi. Hello, my name is Jonathan Gonzalez. Uh, I'm 24 years old. And about my work, nowadays I'm working in a call center, but I'm in Spanish call center. But I would like to move to another call center. I consider that a good seller. I'm an agent and I'm a sales. And I could like to sell uh, different products, but in English. That's why I I want to learn English very well. And of course, uh, uh, apply in a different call center or maybe to get a job in another country. About about my, that is one of my goals. Mm -hmm. And about my hobby, uh, I love, I love playing video games, playing soccer with my friends, and go out with my friend or that's nice. it. Nice. Very good. Nice Thanks. Meeting nice meeting you, Jonathan. Let's listen to some of the ladies here. Let's see Carla, please. Introduce yourself. Hello, good night. Hi. Uh, me, my name is Carla Sofia Argueta Chévez. Uh, I am designer assistant. Uh my hobbies are listening to music and watch, watching series on Netflix. And my expectations are to improve and understand English better. Nice. Clear and to the point, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's hear Mayra, please. Good, good, evening. good evening. My name is Mayra Peña. I am 33 years old. I work in a administrative area in a business center, and my hobbies are um, traveling to the country, the towns, and meet a new place in my country, and and go the camping to the mountains. All right. And my expectation or my goal for this model is learn a lot of 
vocabulary, vocabulary mm -hmm. to improve my English and practice more in my in my free time. Got it. English. Very nice goal. Thanks for sharing. Nice meeting you. All right. Um, let's go with Wendy. Wendy Ramirez. Good evening. Hi. Um, my name is Wendy Ramirez. Um, I work in promoter, promote promoter in supermarket. I am. Um, I like is football. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Finish. What are you? What are <laughs> What are your goals, Wendy? Why do you want to learn English? Um, for a better job, maybe, or to yes. study in a different country. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. nice. Thanks for sharing, Wendy. Thank you. Thank Let's, you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to Nelly. Nelly Lilligan, please. Hello. Um, my name is Nelly Lilligan Garcia. I'm an architect and I am study marketing international too. Um, I would like to improve my English because I want to um, study and work in another country and find um, a better opportunity to my okay. profession. Yes. All right. Thanks for sharing. Nice to meet you as well, Nelly. All right. Let's see. Am I missing anyone? Am I missing anyone here? Jose Bernardo, have you introduced yourself? Okay, Miss. Uh, good evening. My name is Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. I'm 34 years old and I work in a farming tool factory named. Implementos Agricolas Centro Americanos. I am a quality inspector there. Uh, uh, I want to learn English because the 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 first thing that uh, why I want to learn in English is that I love the language. The second is to improve to a better job and maybe work out of this country or just to, for travel and know new people. Nice. Yeah, English is a good way to meet new people. <laughs> Anywhere <laughs> and everywhere. Nice goal. All right. And let's see who else. Um, Emerson Ulises, have you introduced yourself already? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, everybody. This is good. My name is Emerson Calix. Nice to meet you, Miss. It's it is a pleasure to be here again. My commitment for this model will be to improve my pronunciation and vocabulary. My jobs are playing soccer and chess. All right, you like playing chess. That's nice, Emerson. Yes. <laughs> cool. I wish I ever had learned to play chess, but chess to me, it's like mathematics. It's just like not gonna happen. <laughs> But it's cool to meet people that actually can't play. <laughs> it's a nice meeting you. All right, let's see. I think I didn't miss any. Did I miss anyone? Not right. All right, so I think. Oh, oh go ahead, please. Yeah. Maurice. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Mauricio Velasquez. I work in Young One in Salvador. I am a production manager. My favorite sport is football. I still don't practice it anymore. And I like to read. I hope to learn a little more with you. Okay, nice meeting you, Mauricio. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Is anyone else missing? Don't be shy or I will not know your name. <laughs> now, I'm not sure 
if I have seen any of your faces in previous modules, I believe I have seen some, but I'm really happy to see you here advancing guys, some of you, all right? And the ones that are just starting here in intermediate, oh, we're missing one Wendy here. Um, I think Wendy Maricela, have you introduced yourself already? Mm, we didn't hear you, Wendy. Wendy Maricela, have you introduced yourself already? Hello, teacher. Hi. So Hi. if you want to introduce yourself, Wendy, like let us know about your hobbies and your goals regarding the language or the module. Tell us about you, Wendy. We see you now. Hi, Wendy. Hi, <laughs> teacher. Tell us a little um, bit about yourself, Wendy. What are your hobbies? Why do you want to learn English? Uh, I learn English. Um, I am a music. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I work. Solo trabajar, teacher. I only work. Uh, I do okay. work. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks for Thank sharing. You. All right. Um, Kenya, Elizabeth, did you introduce yourself? Yes, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hi. My name is Kenya Rodriguez. I work in a pharmaceutical company. I work as an auditor, um, like regional coordinator. Mm -hmm. What are your I hobbies? I like to spend, in my free time, I like to spend with my friends and I love traveling. And uh, for this course, I just to improve my English, to have more vocabulary, because I would like to learn English for change. And my favorite color is blue. That's all. Okay, nice. Then nice meeting you. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Kenya. All right. So guys, listen, tonight, I heard that most of you were mentioning a very, very good point, which was to increase vocabulary, right? Um, there are many ways we can increase vocabulary because we, we literally find vocabulary every day, everywhere, right? In music, in videos, in the content we consume on uh, media, right? Um, but then also in the classes, it's another way to find extra vocabulary. And then one recommendation if you find new vocabulary write it down okay do not just uh, what is that word oh this oh, okay thank you <laughs> and then forget about it right <laughs> don't do that try to write it down try to look for the meaning or write it down if it's told to you and then try to use it in a sentence the whole point of learning vocabulary is that you start using it in sentences and then in full conversations where you can apply it, right? Um, I'm pretty sure I do not have the correct list in here. So let me see if I have the correct model. I'm gonna say the names. If you are here, please stay present, okay? Um, we have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, okay. Um, My name is Blanche Rodriguez. Uh -huh. I work at Hotel Ron uh, Plaza as maintenance chief, chief maintenance. Uh -huh. uh, my hobby is uh, play music and watch videos and movies. 
All right. I need to learn to speak English because I need my I have my own business. I need to I want to have business abroad. Oh, mm, very good. Entrepreneur. <laughs> All right, Carlos. Nice meeting you. Thanks for sharing. Okay. So I'm gonna take attendance. So I'm gonna take your attendance in the list. When you hear your complete name, just say present, please. Okay. Um yeah, Carlos, you already said present. <laughs> um Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. No, okay. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. This is Miko. All right. Um Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Um, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemus. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Uh, present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Raul Antonio Jordan. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, we took attendance already. So I'm gonna share the screen with you guys. And we're gonna begin. I'm just gonna load this screen. We're just gonna begin reviewing, first of all, reviewing some of the basics, right? Like what are we expected to do besides um during the two hours we're gonna ha be having classes. My main goal is gonna be for you to one, read as much as possible so you can get pronunciation, fluency, vocabulary, and then two, to practice creating conversations and doing exercises, right? And obviously giving you the grammar when needed. Now, on your side, you're gonna have to complete the platform, remember every module. And for the ones that are just starting on this module and you, you have not been in the past ones, you're required to complete the platform, right? Um, when you begin, you will see this in, and then on section one, unit one. It's basically one per week, but we have five weeks in here, so you're gonna have enough time to complete it. Just make sure you don't do it last time. Um, ideally, every day, in the, well, every day we have class, the next day in the morning, our administrative team will upload the class here. So tomorrow, where you see this, book in this space tomorrow this class we're having right now it's gonna be uploaded there in the platform in case you need to rewatch it or something right and then the homework it's for each day like monday would be homework 1.1 and then 1.3 would be the one for tuesday but we're starting on a wednesday so take it like that <laughs> and then these ones it's usually very simple to they're like option multi multi options right so you, you just choose the one that makes more sense to you <laughs> and then i also try to review at the end of the week each week the homework so that if anyone is lacking they can pick up the pace right um and that so just a reminder that you are supposed to you're required to be complete in the platform okay and so now we're gonna go to the student's manual and we're gonna begin on page nine. Um, the student manual, you also have access to it, right? Um, you can find it there in the platform as well. So on page nine, to begin with, 
we have exercise one. And our topic for tonight, it's called the distribution channel, all right? And we have some, we have two questions in here. Who can help me reading those two questions we have here? I need a volunteer to read those two questions. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mayra. Does your company sell products and service directly to the consumer? What kind of business distribute their product to other stores? All right. So those are two questions. I know not everyone in this class works in a business company or a selling related company, right? So we're, but we're going to add that. We're going to add that and conquer. Right? Question. Does your company sell products and services directly? to the customers that part is important your company is directly to customers and then what kind of business usually distribute their products to other stores all right so we're gonna be answering those two questions but before we do that we're gonna also check some information that i had prepared for you guys here regarding this topic that we're gonna see tonight Right. The topic said the distribution, um, the distribution channel. So those two questions that we saw right now in the student's manual are related to the two types of business distribution channels that there are, right? So if you see the screen here, you got the producer or the manufacturer, right? Like if you could think of any product any product that you have ever bought in your life, right? It had to be created, produced, or manufactured by someone from the beginning, right? And then that, that company that created or produced the product, they have two options to sell it to you, right? They could decide to sell it directly to you after they created it, and that is called the direct channel, right? But then they had the other choice. They had the other option, to use in direct channels. And then they could be agents, distributors, wholesalers, or retailers, right? If you want to know like the difference between wholesalers and retailers, think about it like that. Price Mart is a wholesaler and Super Selectos is a retailer, like that. A wholesaler is someone that sells whole packages, whole amounts, big quantities. And then the retailers are the ones that sell small quantities, right? Like you can buy from one piece if you only want one. And then wholesalers, they don't let you buy one. You have to buy a minimum of 100 pieces, for example, right? So that that's why I was giving you the example. If you want the perfect example here in El Salvador, Price Mart would be your wholesaler. And then Super Selectos will be the, your retailer, right? You can buy just one, for example. Okay, um, and here you start getting some vocabulary, right? You have words like manufacturer, you have words like wholesaler, retailers, right? So you start, make sure to start writing down the vocabulary. And I will always try to explain it to you in English, but if not, we can always go to the translation for it, okay? So remember, for a distribution channel, there are two options, the direct one, after a product is created, or the indirect one where they use other, other retailers and wholesalers, right? So we are going to do a little bit of reading here. So you are gonna have the chance to do reading a lot. We have one, two, three. We, ha we have space for three different people to read, right? So one person can read the first <clears throat> paragraph, another person can read the second, and one last person can read the key takeaways, okay? So we need three volunteers. Raise your hands so I can see you and you can, we can begin reading. Okay, Jonathan, help us with the first paragraph, please. We need somebody else for the second and somebody for the key takeaways. Um, Carla, help us with paragraph number two, please. And then 
Cesar, if you can help us reading the key takeaways at the end, all right? Let's begin, please. What is a distri distribution channels? A distribution channels is a network of businesses or intermediaries throughout which a good or a service uh, passes until it reaches the final buyers or the end consumers. Distribution channels can include wholesalers, retail retailers, distribu distributors, Distrib distributors, distributors, and even the internet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, distribution channels are part of the downstream process, answering the questions: How do we, how do we get our product to the consumer? Uh, this is contrast to the upstream process, also known as the supply chain, which answers the questions: uh, Who are our suppliers? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, takeaway. A distribution channel represents a chain of business or intermediary through which the final buyer purchases a good or service. Distribution channels include wholesalers, rate, retailers, 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 distributor, distributors, 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 and the internet. In a direct distribution channel, the manufacturer sells directly to the consumer. In direct channels, involves multiple intermediaries before the products end up in the hands of the consumers. Mm -hmm. All right. And then pronunciation is directly or indirect, right? Not okay. indirect, it's in the indirect or indirect, right? And directly, okay. this one. Okay. All right. So we have this other word, end up. End up, it's the same, the same thing as finish as or finish like, right? End up. Okay. So just for you to get more vocabulary there. And then let's see. Okay. So who wants to give me their, what, do, what is it called? Comprehension. <laughs> what do you guys understand? from this reading. In your own words, try to summarize everything that we just read, try to summarize it in your in this in your words. For example, okay, miss, I understand they are saying this and this and this. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys um it's 843. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Try to put it in your own words. Okay. Try to make a small summary in your own version of what you understand they are saying. When you're ready to share it, raise the hand. If you're ready to share your your summary, let me know.
Okay, we're gonna hear Mayra. Go ahead. Please. Yes, my, I understand and the distribution channel is uh, the way which the company used to move the product or get to the customer. Yes, the customer. The product exactly. is the way. I exactly, that's the best way to summarize it, right? The distribution channel is the way that they use, right? It can be anything but it's the process or the way that they use to get whatever they make to the customers, right? And in their final point, who else? Who else wants to share what you understood or your summary version? This is a typical exercise in a business meeting in real life companies in English. <laughs> they just give you things to read and you tell them what you understand and then they let you know if you're wrong. <laughs> All right, who wants to share next? What else can we say from that paragraph? I'm, <sighs> start, I'm starting to get worried that nobody understood. <laughs> Just might. <have. laughs> what else? What other things you can comment that you understood or that you think they are talking about? in that paragraph, in that reading. Oh, if this was a test. Let me ask you a specific question. Which answer, which question is answered by the supply chain? According to the reading, this is very specific. Which question is answered by the supply chain? Jose? Okay, teacher, what I understand is the next one. For mm -hmm. me, a distribution channel is all the process since you start your product and you have your product mm -hmm. to the consumer. Exactly, Jose, that's another way to put it, right? It's the process, yeah. right? From letter A, creation of the product <laughs> to letter Z, right? That by a step, right? Mm -hmm. That's like, my opinion, I don't know, maybe mm -hmm. I'm wrong. Yeah, it's basically like that. <laughs> this is similar <laughs> to, did you guys, did, I don't know if you guys used to watch SpongeBob SquarePants when you were little, and there was plankton. Plankton was always trying one plan after evil plan after evil plan after evil plan to steal the formula from the kangaroo burgers, right? <laughs> so yes, he had, yes. And one day in the movie, you discovered that he actually has a file and he has the final plan, plan B, right? Plan A, plan B, and then the last one, plan Z. So it's similar to what you were mentioning, Jose, right? This is from letter A to C to the last yeah. option that you have to make sure that your product gets to the customer. Okay, who found the answer to the question that I asked you guys? Which question is answered by the supply chain? Come on, we're intermediate four, almost advanced. We know this, we can do this. <laughs> According to the paragraph, which question is answered by the supply chain? The supply chain answers which question? I'm going to give you a clue. It's in the second paragraph. The supply chain answers which question? It's right here. Who are our suppliers? Yay! <laughs> yes, that is correct, Jose. 
the supply chain answers the question of who are our suppliers, right? That's <laughs> according to the paragraph. Very good. I think you guys knew the, the you're, you guys are just nervous. <laughs> but don't worry, you're participating and it's really nice. That's what counts, right? Very good. Okay, so take into consideration those two points because we're going to need them for the development of the topic, right? We're talking about the distribution channel, okay? And to get a better idea, we have two different examples, very thorough, thorough detail examples to understand better what the distribution distribution channel is, right? So I told you we were going to do a lot of reading, and this is going to help you guys a lot to develop more and more your speaking. So example number one has one, two, three, four paragraphs. So we're going to divide it in two people, okay? First person, first volunteer is going to read paragraph one and two of the example. Second person, paragraphs three and four. So we need two volunteers for example number one. Raise your hand if you want to read. You're only going to read right now, so don't be, don't be nervous. <laughs> Jorge Antonio, help us reading paragraph one and two, please. And then we need one more person for the last two paragraphs. Let's see. Emerson, please, you will help us with the last two paragraphs of this example. Mm -hmm. The other ones, the rest of the people that is not going to be reading, try to pay a lot of attention to the details that he's going to be, that your partners are going to be reading and try to understand the example that they are giving you. These are real, these are real life examples. Okay, let's begin. Okay, example number one. Wendy, Wendy, a novice businesswoman, has designed clothes and accessories for the ladies in a town. After getting an overwhelming response from her friends and peers, she decided to open an apparel store. She rented a place and played an initial deposit of $5,000 in a monthly rent for a $1,200. Wendy put a few of her products on display in the store. Many ladies showed up and expressed their interest in a collection, for they hardly bought anything. She waited for the, for, for the two months in a row, but could sell only two or three pieces. She decided to shut down her store after the current loss. The so, was attractive and unique. People could have less trust Wendy as she was, she was ultimately an unknown business owner. Her friends Mary asked her to showcase her product on the e-commerce website to see the market response. She listed her product on a online retail, retailers and at a lenient rate. Customers started linking and putting positive review about the unique handmade apparel. It helped her Game to choose the customers. Yes. Well, good. So, very different points that we can get from here. First of all, pay attention to vocabulary. We have a lot of vocabulary in this example. Second of all, the context. What's happening here, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. We need two more volunteers. We need two more volunteers. You're going to read the exact same example. First person, first two paragraphs, second person, the last two paragraphs. Each example, we're gonna have two rounds of people to read them. Okay, we need two more volunteers to read example number one. Raise your hands, please. Jose Bernardo, help us with paragraph one and two, please. And we need one more person for paragraph three and four. 
Mayra, please help us with paragraphs three and four. The other ones, don't worry. We have another example also for reading, so don't worry. Let's begin, please. Okay. Wendy, a uh, novice businesswoman has designed clothes and accessories for the ladies in town. After getting a uh, over, uh, overwhelming response from her friends and peers, she decided to open uh, an apparel store. She rented a place and paid an initial deposit of $5,000 and a monthly rent of $1,200. Wendy put a few of her products on display in the store. store. Many ladies showed up and expressed their interests in the collection, but they hardly bought anything. She waited for two months in a row, but could sell only two or three pieces. Thank you, Nils. Thus, she decided to shut down her store after incurring a loss. Thought the collection was attractive and unique. People called her the trust Wendy, uh, as she was ultimately an unknown business owner. Her friend Mer Mary asked her to showcase her product on an e-commerce website to see the market response. She listed her products on an online retailer as a lending rate. Customers started leaking and putting positive reviews about the unique handmade appear. It helped her gain to her gain the trust of customers. All right, thank you. Okay, first of all, this one, we're gonna check vocabulary first, pronunciation, and then we discuss the topic, right? So um, we have this one in here, overwhelming. Overwhelming, it's when something is too much, right? For example, when there is like too much people or too much of something and it's like, it's overwhelming, right? Um, In this case, it's, it's a positive. It can be positive or negative, depending on the context. In this case, it's positive. She had an overwhelming response from her friends, meaning that she had many positive, good um, responses from her friends, right? The overwhelming, like, oh, it's too much good things, right? And then apparel, apparel. Apparel is the same as clothing, clothes, right? Clothing. A clothing store, it's the same as an apparel store. So it's exactly the same, all right? And then let's see what other word of vocabulary do we have there? In a row, in a row means one after the other. For example, three months in a row, January, February, March, right? or three weeks in a row, meaning, for example, we, we're going to be in this module five weeks in a row, okay? But if for some reason we had an interruption in one of the weeks, we're not in a row anymore, right? If there's an interruption, it's not in a row. So in a row means that it's continuous, right? Continuous. And then shut down is the same as closing. She decided to close her store. She decided to shut down her store. The same thing, right? Thus, thus is like saying therefore. Thus and therefore are very similar, right? And then we have, where is it? Ah, the, the, it's the short for even though. The, it's short for even though, okay? And then, Let's see what other one we have in here. Showcase. Showcase is literally to show your products. <laughs> Showcase something is to show something, literally. Okay. And online retailer is a store that sells online and they don't sell big quantities. They sell from, from one to five maximum pieces, right? That's a retailer. Okay. Lenient. Lenient, it's like, say, 
indulgent. Lenient is similar to indulgent, like a very good rate. A very good rate, like say lenient rate is like a, a very, a very good price, right? Like he's not paying much. That's what they are telling you here. Lenient rate is like saying at a very convenient price, similar to saying the same, right? And then handmade apparel, clothes that are made by hand and not by machines, not industrially made, but made like one piece at a time, right? Okay, now that we know the vocabulary there, okay, um, do we have any doubts with the vocabulary? Yes, no? Okay, here's what we're going to do. I want you to take a look at it and try to explain what you understand from this example. How this example helps you understand what the direct channel is, right? What the distribution channel is, sorry. Okay. By this example, this is an example of a distribution channel. So what do you understand from this example? I want you to tell me in your words, in your, in your own words. Well, how do you understand this example? What's happening here? Juan Carlos, please. Uh, okay, I, I understand uh, she decided to open the store. Uh, maybe it's a, a directly channel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, expensive. <laughs> and she talked with uh, her, her friend. Uh, she recommend uh, open the the store online, and um, she decide uh, I open her store uh, online, and it's better for for her. All right. Uh, I is indirect indirectly uh, channel, and you exactly. Yeah, yeah, very uh, good, Juan Carlos. <laughs> Yes, you summarized it perfectly. The first part of the story is called direct distribution channel, right? From the manufacturer directly to the customers. But it's usually a very expensive process and she had to pay for a deposit, for the store rent, and then the monthly rent and everything that comes with that rate. And she didn't sell that much. That, those were not even the problems. The problem was that she was not selling much because not many people knew her. Not many people knew her products, right? But then she used the indirect channel, which is when the manufacturer uses all their resources. In this case, she decided an online store, right? And then in the online store, she's not paying so much money. So she's saving that. And people okay. on the internet can talk about her, right? Okay, uh, I have a, a question. The mm -hmm. upper is, is like uh, uh, accessories, uh, clothes accessories. Apparel is everything, including clothes. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Including clothes. Everything from t-shirts, uniforms, anything that is to dress a person, that's apparel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, very good. So now we're going to go with example number two, okay? So we need two volunteers for this one. One person is going to read exam example, paragraph one and two, and the other person, the last two paragraphs. The last paragraph is just one line, so that's easy. <laughs> okay, we need two volunteers. Cesar, help us reading the first two paragraphs, please. And... I think there was someone that wanted to read the first time. Who was it? Um, was it you, Carla? Carla Sofia, what, can you help us reading the last two paragraphs? Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Example two, Candice, an experienced author, wanted to write a book on marketing after her extensive experience as a sales and marketing professional. However, she knew that her qualification does not match her area of expertise. 
and the readers notice the author's academic and professional background to decide whether they show by his or her book. Thus, uh, she decides to drop the plan and begin writing blogs on basic and advanced marketing topics. She promoted her piece promoted. on every promoted her piece on every possible social media platform. To add to her professional initiative, she started a YouTube channel to explain the marketing concept to beginners. After gaining a huge fan, fan base, she annoyed the launch of her books. Her book. As soon as the book launched, her regular social media followers bought Bought it, bought it and recommended the same the others. Uh, no, not only did she spend a little money, uh, but she also received an uh, overwhelming response. Uh, in this case, social networking websites became the marketing channel for candies. All right, thank you. So we need two more people to read same same example. Remember each example? We read it twice, two different rounds. So we need two more volunteers. Same thing, you're just going to read what you have in there. Paragraph one and two, and then three and four. Let's see. If you haven't read yet, this is your moment. Jose, help us with paragraphs one and two, please. And we need okay. one more person for paragraphs three and four. Make sure to read the hand so I can see you. You're just going to read these paragraphs, that's it. Let's see, one more volunteer to read these last, last two paragraphs. Someone that has not read yet. Preferably. Let's see. I don't know your names right now, so. It's kind of tough. <laughs> um, Ed, Edward, can you help us reading last paragraphs three and four on example two? Yes, of course. All right, let's begin with the first part, please. Okay, example number two, Candice. An aspiring author wanted to write a book on marketing after her extensive experience as a sales and marketing professional. However, she knew that her qualification does not match her area or expertise. The reader notice the author's academic and professional background to decide whether they should buy his or her book. Thus, she decided to drop the plan and began writing blogs on basic and advanced marketing topics. She promoted her piece on every possible social media platform to add to add to her promotional initiatives. She started a YouTube channel to explain the marketing concepts to beginners. Okay. <clears throat> okay. After gaining a huge fame base, she announced the launch of her book. As soon as the book Launched her regular social media followers both voting and recommended the same to others. Not only did she spend a little money, but she also received an overwhelming response. In this case, social ne networking website became the marketing channel for candies. Okay. 
and I was in mute. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So pronunciation. We're going to check vocabulary and pronunciation first. Then we talk about the actual concept of brain. Um, this one, qualification, right? We don't admit the U, it's qualification. Expertise. Area of expertise, right? Mi area de experiencia. Area of expertise. Okay, whether or, look at this combination you have in here, whether or, you can use this combination when you have two options that you want to mention at the same time in one idea. So you say whether, and you mention the first option, and then you say or, and you mention the second option. So this is one uh, connector that you can use, right? Whether or, whether one thing or the other. That's the way you're going to separate your ideas, okay? And look at this, right? Whether or, ya sea uno, or lo otro, right? What is the difference between either? Either, it's the, it's similar, but in this case, you have to choose. Either it's just mentioning you have the option. This one you got to choose, right? And then, thus. Thus is similar to, therefore, I was telling you in the other in the other example, right? Therefore, therefore, like because of that, right? He decided to drop a plan. Okay, similar to that. And then, do we see any other vocabulary here? No. Oh, this one pronunciation huge, huge is the adjective for something that it's bigger than the biggest thing, right? You have big, bigger, the biggest, that's the biggest, right? But then you have huge, which is like enormous, enormous, gigantic, huge, huge problem, right? I have a huge problem. I love my mom's Tupperware, right? So huge, it means really big, gigantic, okay? And then launch. Launch day is the date when something is going to begin selling. Okay, for example, the day that you're going to start selling your product is your launch day. Or the day that a movie is going to start releasing in the movies, in the movie theaters, that's the launch day, right? And then, let's see if we have any other vocabulary. No, we already saw we well made. So, yeah, I think we're good. So what's happening in this example, does Candice already have a book written? Or what's happening in this example? Who can tell me in your own words? What's happening here? What do you understand in this example? Remember, you don't have to explain every single detail. Try to make it as general as possible using your own words, right? All right, let's put our ideas in order. Let's begin. What's the first thing that's happening? What's happening in paragraph one? Let's separate ideas by paragraph. What's the main idea in paragraph one? What are they telling you? What are they saying in the first, in only in the first paragraph, right? What are they saying? What's happening here? 
uh, she wants to write a book uh -huh. based on her uh, experience in yes. marketing professionals. Exactly. Uh -huh. She doesn't know how to begin and he start to write in different social media and yeah, that's true. So listen, she wants to become an author, right? It says she's an aspiring author, right? Meaning that she's not a book writer, right? She's not a book author yet. It's going to be her first book, right? So she knows that if she writes the book and then she releases the book for sale, probably no one's going to buy it because people don't know her. Who is this woman giving me advice on sales and marketing? I don't know this woman, right? So she decides to do social media marketing for herself. As Cesar was mentioning, right? She decides to use social media platforms like YouTube, right? She starts her YouTube channel. She uses the other platforms to create mark media marketing for herself, right? He's talking about marketing concepts for beginners. He's talking about marketing topics, but she's promoting herself, right? Because she's, she's the author. And then it says after she gains a huge fan base, when she has created following, then she announces the launch of her book, right? Now, yes, you can go ahead and sell your book because people know you, right? But if she had sold it in this, in this season probably know what it would have bought it right because they didn't know her now after doing all these channels right distribution channels like social platforms youtube channel now she can go and sell to her customers right so that's a different example but it goes to the same thing that we were talking about right so now we're gonna have some questions in here i want you to take a look in here Questions, point number one, okay? Point number one, think of some products that you currently use right now, these days, 2023, this year, products that you're currently using and answer this. Are there any of those products that you would like to buy via different marketing channels? Do you think the products could be successfully marketed this way? For example, um, I think, I personally, I use, what do they call? I use like special pillow for your neck. I don't know if you have seen the, the gel pillows that are especially designed for your neck, right? I use, I like to buy those pillows, right? That's one of the products that I'm currently using, a special neck pillow to sleep. But, it's really problematic because there is only one store that sells those pillows in El Salvador. And they don't even have an online store. They don't even have good marketing. So the only way you can get it is if you go to the store. And if they have it in stock and you can get one, it's going to be very pricey. It's very expensive pillow, right? So in my opinion, those pillows would be one of those products that you can buy in a different marketing channel, right? In my opinion, they should be using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They should use all those things to announce the different pillows, right? And the prices and the different selling methods. And yes, I think they would be successfully marketed, right? Because people would know that they exist and they would not be so expensive probably if they sold more. But now, right now, the way they are, they are very expensive because they don't sell too many. So try to think about that. Okay? And try to give me an example similar to the one I just gave you. Or then we have, if you find point number one is not, not too of your liking, we can go to point number two. Describe a time in which you did business with a company and you receive conflicting information from the different channels. We have been there. You have been there. I know we have all been in that situation. 
where you text one on the web page and they give you one information, but in the other page, they give you different, it's the same store, but they are giving you different answers, right? And when you go to the physical store, it's a different answer also. So how did it affect your buying experience? Have you done business with the company since that time, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go into the breakout room we're going to go into the breakout room. You're going to be working with your partners and you're going to be discussing these topics, okay? I'm going to open the rooms and I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes to discuss this with your partners in the rooms. Take a picture, take a screen. You, It's your choice. You can discuss point number one or you can discuss point number two. When we return to the main this session after the 10 minutes you're going to tell me what you were discussing with your partners okay you're going to share what you were discussing in the rooms okay one more time i'm going to give the instructions i'm going to open the room the breakout rooms we are going to go in the rooms for 10 minutes with your classmates and you can discuss point number one or point number two whichever you prefer okay make sure that you talk continuously and then when we return here when we come back to the main session each room is going to share with the rest of the class what they were talking about what they were discussing okay and they are and their answers right so the rooms are open you will see a screen popping up to let you know that you can enter the room and you can choose which you want to discuss you have 10 minutes to discuss with your classmates Let's begin going in the rooms, please. Let's go into the rooms, please. Your classmates are waiting for you, people going to the rooms. Juan Jose, your classmates are waiting for you in room five. Jonathan, your classmates are waiting for you in room six. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher, I'm driving right now. Oh, okay, don't worry then, Juan, thank you. Kenya, your classmates are waiting for you in room four. And okay. I'm a little busy. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, we're almost here. Just a minute. Okay, we're all back to the main session. Um, before I begin asking you, let me ask you first, do you need more time to finish discussing in the groups or did you complete the discussion and we can start listening to your answers? Do you guys need more time to discuss in the groups or are you ready to start sharing the answers? Uh, in my case, I share with Cesar, we only talk about the question number one. Okay, that's fine. You only had to choose one or the other, right? Um, did you have enough time to discuss everything you wanted to discuss or do you need a few more minutes in the rooms? If you don't need more time, we can share the answer with that. I yeah. think no. <laughs> All right, good. So yeah, okay. this is gonna be <laughs> nice. This is gonna be the way um that I um, I usually work. Whenever I ask you to do an activity in the breakout rooms, I usually give you ten to fifteen minutes. But if you have not completed the activity, you can always ask for more time if needed, right? <laughs> but in this case, I guess it was just to discuss one question, so I think we're fine. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start listening to the answers of room number one. Okay, in room number one, we have Juan Jose, no, it's Jose Bernardo and Wendy Maricela. Let's, let, let us hear, share with us what you discussed. Which question did you answer? And what was the answer that you came up with? Okay, Miss, uh, we took the first question. Think of some products you currently use. Uh, we were talking about the lunch. Both we both both were talking that we go to, for example, the Pollo Campero to buy our lunch. So, um, we would like uh, that they have delivery right now because before the. Mm, I don't remember very well, but uh, 2018, they didn't have the delivery uh, for every part of the country. So it was difficult if you want to buy the lunch in that store. Mm -hmm. After the 2020, I, I think the deliveries... Uh, are more common so it is easily to buy there all right that was a good discussion then nice um just as a tip as a recommendation sometimes when you don't remember specific years and or you don't want to mention it if you don't want to mention a specific years but it was like more than five years ago you can use this expression oh, okay. back back in the day okay oh I'm sorry, I just sent it to one person. I'm going to send it to everyone. Back <laughs> in the day. Here, and I put it in the chat. Back in the day. Back it's like day. saying, en los tiempos de antes. <laughs> right? Oh, okay. Back in the day. And now, if you want to come and say the opposite, like modern, current times, and you can say nowadays. Right? Nowadays. That's the opposite. Mm -hmm. And that's the opposite. Back in the day, it's in the past. Nowadays, it's the, the, these days that are happening currently, right? Mm -hmm. Hoy en día, nowadays. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, miss. Mm -hmm. So that's going to make you sound more like natural, right? And it's easier if you don't remember the years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, very thank good. Thank you, very good. Um, We're going to hear room number two right now, which is Emerson... Ulises, Carla, Sofia, and Sandra Abigail. Hello. Questions <laughs> did you discuss and what were your answers? Hello. Uh, we discussed the, uh, the first paragraph. Uh, okay. Our answers. 
my friends had a makeup store and sell uh, the products via Facebook and marketplace. Uh, but I, we think if she sell more, uh, she will create a Instagram account and make a website uh, about e-commerce and other, I don't know you think, and other thing, uh, many makeup store, they, they do give product as a gift to influencers to promote uh, in their channels the products mm, only <laughs> okay that's a good case in point case in point the instagram makeup stores right so yeah that's a good one thank you carla for sharing then we're gonna have the participation of room number three we have carlos vladimir cesar lemos or i think it was just cesar and mayra right it was just Cesar and Mayra, right? So Cesar Lemos and Mayra Cecilia, please. Okay. Um, we talk about the question number one. And in my case, I choose the one product. Then we, and I use a, uh, Currently, the product is a cream for my hair. The name brand is Scala. Is brand of Brazilian. I buy this product in a specific page on Facebook because they don't have a a principal stores in the country, they have a retailers. And that's it all. And okay. Can you continue? Okay, uh, in my case, uh, I would like to uh, buy um, my cell phone. Um, my, my cell phone is an iPhone and I would like to uh, buy it in marketing in a uh, um, digital channel because uh, in the country there are not a lot of dealers and for that reason I will choose uh, the marketplace uh, in Facebook and just that feature. All right, very good comments. Both the scenarios are very specific cases, right? Thank you for sharing, Mayra okay. and Cesar. Very good job. And now we're going to listen to room number four. We have, I think it's Eduardo, Jose, and Kenya, right? Or is it just... Just... Um, yes, teacher, we were really emotional to talking about the, <laughs> the number one question, but we doesn't we don't decide Did it. <laughs> we didn't decide the, the person who's going to represent us. Oh. So I guess Eduardo. <laughs> okay. Eduardo, you... can you represent your team? Okay, of course. Uh, in this case, uh, we were talking about uh, the number one question. So for the reason. I think the best way to buy something is the, I prefer to buy my daily basis products online. I think it's the best way because I think there are a bunch of people trying to buy in the same place. Uh, I think it's uh, the best way to buy something is online, but about when you are talking about a daily basis product, for example, such as a shampoo, hair, or your food, but because I think you spend or explore, explore a lot of time, a lot of time when you visit the, for example, a, a super selectos, it's a big line or it's a really, uh, there are a lot of traffic. 
So for the reason I decide to when I I am in my home or my job, I prefer just to select the the item that I want to buy in uh, online. And when I when I arrive at home, I would like to get the old products in my in my home and I just to use it. And also when I think when you buy some items that you want to buy such as shoes or or clothes, it's preferred to visit the place because you can see what is the a specific kind of shoes that you want to buy, or you can select the size. And I think it's the best way just to buy a daily basis product in online, and you will receive the 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 delivery for free, and you know you don't spend the time in looking the the place that you want to buy. Those are yeah, those are very usual cases, right? Um, personally, I think like. If super selectors were to be trusted, I don't trust them. <laughs> but if they could be trusted that they are gonna send you good products, I would buy selectors online. But I don't use selectors online because I feel like they are gonna send you the worst products that they have or the ones that are about to expire. <laughs> so you have to go to physical stores, right? But if I could trust them, then you will never see me again on the streets buying anything. I would all buy everything online. <laughs> yeah. We have told about it because uh, he lives in Sonsonate and I live in Metapan. So in, in Metapan is doesn't have super selector doesn't have this this service. Kind of option. Yes, the service. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know like in my head it was it like all over the country. That's crazy. They should have that. <laughs> all right. Would you use it if you had that option? Yes, there are a, a lot of people, but they, for example, uh, Mandaditos is a call of the company, mm -hmm. but you can write the old items that you want on was over the WhatsApp, oh. uh, but it's different because you cannot say like what is the specific item that you want to buy. And so you don't the know reason, the price. <laughs> yeah, obviously. So for the reason you prefer to just get a, uh, select the, the product in the items and the total amount at the end and just uh, make the purchase and just that. I think mm -hmm. it's better because you will receive the product ASAP than you spend a lot of time to visit the place and select the, make the yeah, line. Making that's the lines. That's the worst part of everything. <laughs> the bar, the worst. And then when you go to the cashiers, there is an, there are like 10 cashiers and only two are working that day, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sucks. All right. Very good. Room number four, I think. Thanks for hearing. Now we're gonna check room number six. Uh, room number six, we have Jonathan Gonzalez, Jorge Antonio, and Nelly Lilipe, please. Um, well, uh, Nelly and I talk about some personal product uh oh for example the uh, clothes clothes and shoes and uh, we talk and you have mm, many ways for the for the buy uh, many um uh, distribution channels uh the one way is uh, you can buy online or you can visit the store uh, but in this case we uh, talk uh, for us is better to uh, sometimes visit the store because when you buy online for example you have a problem with a with a size or of quality for the product and uh, well is a pro uh, is a problem with with you because uh, you sometimes would you have uh, invest uh, the other time for the change the the product or um for example when you buy um a t shirt and when you receive the or, or when you receive or when when you retire the this product um the fabric is different or the size is different because uh, for example Nelly says uh, if you 
buy a t-shirt and sometimes uh, is stretch or uh, a little bit if you see in the picture or see in the uh, online stores and you need to go to the stores and change this product. Uh, for us, in this case, uh, it's better when you buy and go to the stores uh, in no buy in the in the online in this case for example and the other uh, product uh, if you dial diary use uh, you can buy online uh, but sometimes it's better uh, go to the stores and and buy and uh, in this place yeah, especially here in El Salvador, there were many stores, specifically apparel stores or clothing stores. They sell clothes from China, right? Yeah. Like size L in China, it's like size S in Central America, like nothing. They have, they're not matching at all. <laughs> but yeah, you no. got to be sure to go and try the clothes. And <laughs> Different store shows that the uh, one picture, but when you mm -hmm. receive this product is totally different when you to see yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, sometimes the cost is very high and when you receive i don't know if it's, it's a problem yeah you know i once had like that type of experience uh when we were in the pandemic that we were in lockdown when we were still in the lockdown my mom was really bored and she like she loves to go shopping right but she couldn't do that when we were in lockdown so she was shopping online a lot. So one day she wanted a new pajama, right? And she was like, I want a new pajama. I want a new pajama. And then she saw the pictures of the pajamas in the store. And they were like size XL, right? My mom wears size XL. So she was like, okay, this is my size XL. And then when she received the pajama, it was a little pajama. No. And she was really angry. She, I ordered size XL. This is not XL. And the messenger was like, I didn't know, Mom, I just I just delivered the product. Yes. Um, uh, nobody helped her. Nobody helped her. And she didn't lose her money because my mom is a tough person. She's like, I'm not getting this. You take that back. <laughs> but yeah, if, if there was another person, probably they would have lost their money. <laughs> Yeah, my um a few months ago, uh, my son uh have a problem with a with a with a product. He buy he both um AliExpress, mm -hmm. yeah, and the picture uh, said, uh, buy this cell phone for three dollars." And oh and, no, and it yeah. was a cell phone. <laughs> no, and and yeah, and the picture um showed uh the different a real cell phone yeah well and in and in, in in this moment my son says uh, that i bought different night i don't know is that joke no yes i boy okay and she both in this moment uh two or three months later when the product is here in el salvador um he uh, visited the the mail store and uh, Correos. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, and and when uh, when when he received this product, the package, and opened the package, only only stayed that picture, the no. package, yes, a page, the 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 cell phone, yeah. Uh, oh my god! And he bought three dollars for this picture. Uh, uh, those Chinese people are so yeah, evil. Chinese, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. It's just it's it's just it's a bad decision. <laughs> they are shady, they're shady. <laughs> you know, yeah. when something is suspicious, um, you can also use that that other word, this expression, shady. Oh. I put it in the in the in in the chat for you to use it. When something is suspicious, but you don't want to say the word suspicious. Native speakers they use this word instead, shady. Mm, that's shady, right? Like it doesn't look good. It looks like it's gonna be a scam, right? So that's another expression that you can use. It it's the same meaning as suspicious, 
but it, you're suspicious of like basic level and then shady it's like um native speaker right a native speaker is not going to use suspicious you're gonna use this one shady i'm gonna try to give you guys options so that your your speaking starts sounding a little bit more native right so good job guys good job to the ones who participated and that the were discussing in the groups we're gonna stop sharing here i'm gonna take attendance one more time tonight before we go and then we can go to sleep okay bear with me for a minute mm -hmm, just checking for the list okay just just make sure to say present please so that it gets in the recording for in support okay carlos vladimir rodriguez present teacher thank you dairo jonathan fuentes eduardo antonio magaña Mimi. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose González. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, DJ. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jose Cesar Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Albarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofia Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Thank you, Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you, Raul Antonio Jordan. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Okay, um, Carlos Vladimir, if you can stay just a few minutes just for your assessment and then you can go, all right everybody else you can disconnect you can go to sleep recharge batteries and i will see you tomorrow so you can continue practicing have a good night good night good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. meeting you see you tomorrow guys you. bye see you tomorrow bye get some rest Who's supposed to be staying today? Carlos Vladimir. Okay. Hi, Carlos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Okay. <laughs> okay. Comentarles. Son un par de minutos para que usted nos diga, bueno, para que el alumno nos diga si hay algún tema que quiere repasar, si hay algo que no se entendió de la clase, algo que no se explicó bien, o solo para comentar en general. Por el momento todo bien. Eh, a lo largo que he ido avanzando en los cursos, he eh, seguido aprendiendo de todo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces siempre uno va queriendo aprender un poco más, un poco más, para poder ir enriqueciendo el vocabulario que tenemos. Uh -huh. Entonces, en algunas ocasiones, fíjense que eh, tal vez voy saliendo del trabajo a la hora que nos vayamos a conectar, entonces ahí es donde que se me dificulta un poco poder, un poco más de atención. Uh -huh. Pero después vuelvo a ver los videos y ahí repaso, la, ahí repaso las clases y ahí repaso los temas que se han visto. De eh, acuerdo. Es bastante, ayuda bastante y así es. Y voy tratando de avanzar en la plataforma eh, conforme Perfecto. los temas que se van viendo y conforme uh -huh. eh, tal vez algunos tópicos que conozco, voy avanzando en, la, en las otras unidades también. Nice, that's really good, Carlos. Um... Sí. Igual, solo cuando vayan a entrar a la sala, si en ese momento no pueden, me escriben el chat. Mis, ahorita no, pero cuando pueda, le aviso o participo. ¿Eh? Uh -huh. Sí, claro, así es. ¿eh? De acuerdo, uh -huh. está bien. Yeah. Other than that, not a problem. Okay? Y sin más, como ahorita sí. estamos adelante, empezando, quizás no haya un tópico para, para repasar, sí. pero si sí. más adelante surgen dudas o cosas, yo estoy ahí a la orden. Ahí les escribí ahora en el chat del grupo de WhatsApp, así que estamos ahí a la orden. Sí. 
Gracias. Ok, have a good night, Carlos. Bye, teacher. Good night.